My name is Sarah Sloan. I'm the National Staff Coordinator for the Answer Coalition. We've called this press conference today because over the past month, there's been a coordinated interagency effort to disrupt and disorganize the organizing work for the September 15th mass march to stop the war in Iraq. This effort began with fines initially totaling $10,000, now over $30,000 issued by the Department of Public Works, an agency of the D.C. government. But it has also included efforts by several uh, Maryland municipalities as well as the federal government. Several other attempts, threats to fine us and threats to arrest us for this First Amendment activity that we've carried out. The National Park Service, which is part of the Interior Department, a cabinet level position in the Bush administration, has written us threatening to fine us for posters that have been placed throughout the city. They also detained one of a team of volunteers who were placing these posters in DuPont Circle. They threatened to arrest those persons. They confiscated their postering materials, including their political literature. So we have made clear in response to the fines and in response to the other threats that we will continue to carry out those rights which we have based both on D.C. law, which permits the type of postering we carry out, and our constitutional First Amendment free speech rights. We filed a lawsuit against the D.C. government the, challenging the constitutionality of regulations which give preferred speech to politicians whose posters we've all seen plastered throughout the city, including long after the election takes place. And the D.C. government gives them preference over grassroots political organizing, such as what's being carried out for the September 15th demonstration. We've also made it clear that we are not going to pay one penny of the fines levied by the D.C. government. These fines are based on a completely false assertion that we violated D.C. municipal regulations regarding postering. In fact, those regulations permit us to affix posters to traffic boxes such as the one behind us here, which are considered lampposts under D.C. law, using non-permanent water-soluble adhesives such as the ones we use regularly and the ones that we're going to use after this press conference takes place. We've also made it clear that if other agencies, including the Interior Department, Montgomery County, the City of Hyattsville, or any others, fine us, we will not pay those fines and we will challenge all of their threats against us. We are here today to take this action in defiance of the National Park Service, Interior Department, federal government, threats of arrest and fines, and to make it clear that we will continue to assert our rights. There are people coming from every state throughout the U.S., by bus, by van, by car caravan. And we now know that more people are coming to this demonstration than were prior to these government threats and actions against the organizing effort. Because people around the country can see clearly the importance of this demonstration will be taking place September 15th on the deadline for the Petraeus report to the Bush administration as Bush justifies the continuation of this war that has cost over almost 4,000 U.S. lives and an untold number of hundreds of thousands of Iraqi lives. People around this city are volunteering more than ever to put up these posters. They are continuing to put up these posters every day until the demonstration. People in cities all over the country have increased their efforts to put up posters and spread the word and organizing transportation to be here on September 15th.